The idea for a next generation VLA was inspired by the VLA itself and the Atacama Large Millimeter Array in Northern Chile. Uh, the NRAO, in conjunction with our science community, uh, envisioned the NGVLA as a new large radio interferometer that will open up new discovery space in astronomy. Uh, our idea for this is an instrument that is 10 times the sensitivity and 10 times the spatial resolution of the VLA or ALMA. I am very excited about the data that will come from a next generation VLA. Uh, it will be exquisite in detail, uh, the sensitivity will be unparalleled, and the opportunities that it will open up um, in, in many different science areas um, is really one of the things that excites me most, that this is a very open facility that anyone who has a great science idea can propose for and use, and its flexibility and its versatility enable many more science questions to be addressed than, than what we can think of right now. The next generation VLA has been designed to accomplish five main science goals. But unveiling solar system analogs, probing the initial conditions uh, for life through astrochemistry, charting the assembly structure and evolution of galaxies over cosmic time, perform fundamental tests of gravity, and understand the evolution of black holes. One of the things I work on is measuring the distance to stars and star forming regions, and then measuring their distance and how they move within the star forming regions. Currently, we can only do 20, maybe up to 100 stars in these star forming regions. Star forming regions contain thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of stars. With the next generation VLA, we'll be able to study 10,000 stars in these star forming regions, which will help us give definitive answers to major questions in star formation. The NGVLA will be a superb black hole hunting machine, the ultimate black hole hunting machine. The NGVLA's uh, high resolution imaging, combined with its fast mapping capabilities, will enable it to search for radio transients associated with gravitational wave sources, neutrino transients, and optical observatory transients, uh, and identify those with black holes that are involved in violent merger events.